I'm Mojave. My name is Catherine Elmore Short. I'm uh, 88 years old. July 15, 1915, I was born. My name is Mimi Patch Harper. I'm Mojave, and I lived here all my life. I'm now 72 years old. Uh, as of today. <laughs> well, my name is uh, Stacia Short Bailey. I've been here most of my life, and uh, I was raised here, I went to school here, and uh, my family, they all spoke Mojave, and I, I never spoke any English until I went to school. My name is Dennis Patch. I'm of a Mojave descent, I'm from the Mojave tribe. I uh, serve on the tribal government. I'm also the education director for the tribe. As my children were growing up, I would talk to them about how the reservation was. I would talk to them about the, uh, the mesquite trees and the cottonwood and willow trees. But they'd look around and there were no mesquite or willow trees. And they, they could never envision what I was talking about. And as I looked around, I noticed that how much we lost as a tribe. Lo and behold, uh, this river was wild. It ran right in the back of our homes uh, down in the valley. We came here to go swimming when we were children in a wagon. We would all play out there and swim and swim all, all afternoon. <laughs> About this time, we'd come home all tired out. It was like we were in a big forest. There was. Uh, shade everywhere, there was abundance of the uh, mesquite bean, and we carried all the watermelons we could carry and just leave down here. And then the changes came when the federal government told us that they were going to put the land into cultivation. First they uh, subjugated the water and put it in one area, and then they went cleaning the fields. In a short time period of only 25 to 35 years, there was the development of uh, almost 88,000 acres. And it, it only took a very uh, short time period to, to destroy all this. In the name of progress, sometimes we destroy our, our very culture, and we only realize it once it's gone. Later, when the farmers start farming, you know, to spring the, the fields, we cannot eat nothing. I think the old people felt real sad because they saw the trees burning and burning and burning, and it all went away overnight. You're given things to do in the world, and one day I woke up with this, with this kind of vision that we needed to do this, and um, there was another hand guiding in this effort. We started talking to the elders about what it used to be, what they used the trees for, Mesquite was our main tree. I would say it was be our almost like our family tree, you know, because it took care of our whole system, our whole body. From the time you're born, that tree gives you the cradle, the baby cradle. Then as you grow older, from the tree is the sap, which makes your hair black. It's the plant that gives you fruit from its tree. It's your shade by day, your heat by night. We have our traditional cremation with a mesquite. When the end of time comes, it will put its arms around you and hold you and take you home. We started to combine in the elders with youth that wanted to know more about what it was like in the past. And with that was born the idea of creating this reserve. And uh, we approached tribal council and uh, they donated 1,100 acres of land along the river to create this reserve. And this was the original park right here. And the trees that you see here today were only like one footers. This was all sand and the elders were cooking right here. Our old people came here and they made fried bread and beans. 
the school students from Parker High School and grade school all came on weekends to work here. The boys, they went out and uh, they did the digging and the hauling and uh, all that, and then we had the food ready for them. Little kids and girls were carrying stones and rocks, and they were making a walkway where you could walk because you can walk in the sand. It was community effort. The birds and animals and the fish and the aquatic life, they've all returned to this area. This was given to us, and, uh, and we need to take care of it. The preserve is, it takes you home a little bit. So we're going home within our own home.